Hi Virgo, welcome to your quantum entanglement reading with me, Jocelyn the Quantum Queen. This is oof, this is for Virgo Sun Moon Rising, and as always, welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo, and the message could actually be for you. So feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings, and if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one -on -one reading, my information is down below in the description box, and that's going to be temporarily open. So just, if you're wanting to book one, I would get over there as soon as possible, because they're filling up pretty fast. And as always, just wanted to say thank you for liking, subscribing, and thank you for all the good karma donations. Okay, let me grab... Okay... Well, that is very interesting. A lot of error in these two cards. I've literally never seen this combo pop out before. So the star card and the lovers. The way I take this is... Virgo, either someone is kind of like mesmerized by you. We've got Aquarius here or Gemini. So I don't know if those signs resonate with you in any, any way at all. But you could be like... There could have been someone that came into your experience... And it's possible that maybe you're in the process of healing right now, but um, someone's coming in and I just feel as though they're really interested in you and they haven't totally revealed it. Maybe they have for some of you, but I'm specifically getting the sense that this person hasn't, they're like almost trying to like not seem as interested as they really are. I don't know, but oh, this is interesting. So we've got the queen popping out. I'm gonna say don't get caught up by the gender, but that could be you or maybe if you are a male and you are interested in women, you could be connecting with someone that you are very attracted to. Let me grab one more. Yeah, it's kind of what I was saying. <laughs> okay, well, what's popping out is the judge. I'm going to go ahead and take that because I kind of get the sense that these are a little bit of the archetypes. I think that with this coloring and everything, it could be someone like this does come ac across very fiery or attractive and see the lotus here and the little pearl in the middle. I kind of get in that right now you're kind of in transformation mode and maybe that's what your healing is. You're like shedding a layer of yourself and maybe there's things about you that you're not really revealing about yourself with the moon here in the center. And that could come across very intriguing to this person. Because with the judge here, the other thing that I'm getting is maybe that's a part of your archetype, Virgo. Like now you're a little bit like distant or like maybe it comes across judgmental for some of you. That's not typically what I get from Virgos though. But maybe a part of your transformation is making you a little bit standoffish and maybe that's why there's a little bit of this illusion kind of energy coming in but i kind of get this sense virgo that this person is a little bit intimidated by you it's possible or like i said there's just a little bit how they're not fully coming forward they're like not totally revealing how interested they are in you there well i think there could even for a part of you either that person will start showing some type of interest but if they feel like it's not reciprocal, they're going to pull back immediately. They're kind of sensitive in a way because I think they're, again, feeling a little bit intimidated by where you're at, in a sense. Let me pull out some other cards. Okay, this is why I was getting this. Five of Pentacles. So I get the sense that maybe for some of you guys, this is a connection that you've rejected you've shut out in the cold there is something here around like rejecting or maybe that's what you're going through and healing through right now maybe you felt like someone rejected you and you're healing yourself through this process and we have the five of wands wow two fives right out the gate so some of you guys this could be feeling a little bit like there's some competition and Four of Pentacles. This also could be you, okay? I feel like if this isn't a person already in your space, this could be Virgo where you're just kind of caught up in some type of situation or environment and maybe it's with a past person that you're like either feeling rejected by or you're shutting them out in the cold because this Four of Pentacles is kind of like you're, you're pulling your energy back in. 
And so maybe there's this thing where you're, you're dealing with this environment and you've got all of your attention and focus here, but with the moon card, this is so perfect. What I say about the moon, you don't see possibly some, and maybe some of you guys do, but there's like someone here in the mix it's possibly a new person or just someone else. Maybe it's even a friend for some of you guys, but there's someone that's feeling like you're not seeing them because of all of your attention and focus on this whole process that you're trying to freaking get through right now. And yeah, because with the strength card, you could be dealing with a Leo, but it's kind of like there's, there's this situation or environment that's really requiring all of your attention and, and a lot of your strength you're really having to focus on something going on in your life. And maybe that's just the healing process in and of itself. And you're like, that's where all of your attention needs to be right now. So someone possibly could be interested and off to the side, but you might not even be totally seeing them. Just kind of what I was saying. I know I'm repeating myself, but yeah, the justice card. So some of you guys could be dealing with some type of a karmic kind of repercussion, like someone... Um, maybe that's what you're healing from. Like you had to let someone back into your life and then it turned into all these spiral of events. Like it eventually turned into this downward spiral because it could have turned into like a lot of the shadow stuff that you grew up with, with your parents where like maybe Virgo, you ended up, you know how I was talking about in the July readings, um, which I'll link at the end of this video, but I was talking about Ken Wilbur and how he was saying occupational hazard, and this is a huge generalization, so don't get too caught up in the details of this. And there can, there can be different people and genders that take on different roles, but in general, occupational hazard of women is to get lost in the other or in you and, and fall into a state of fusion. And occupational hazard of men is to be ultra focused on self. So it appears to be very selfish, but the wounded part of those aspects are where, you know, the man won't be focused enough on others and the woman can be focused too much on others. Okay. That's a lot of the stuff that we're trying to heal through the collective. So maybe that's how it turned into a spiraling downward in this situation is that it really ended up turning into a, you lost yourself too much in another connection. And then it ended up turning into some type of karmic, like see how the snake is biting the finger. It, it ended up like stinging you in some way and maybe causing pain. So that's why this makes sense to me that maybe right now you're just in this healing mode or you're in the process of getting to that point. This is good though. In your fear position, you have the full card. This isn't so much to me a fear. I more feel like that's your blockage right now is that you're desiring a new chapter of your life, but maybe not really sure where you need to get there. And once you go through a certain level of your healing and bringing, you know, this back up to balance with the justice card and the judge, like once this karmic wheel turns back in a certain level, your new beginning will just come in. It might take also a little bit of a leap because yeah, you're going to have to put a little bit of effort, but that's why this situation is actually really positive. You know, I know it sounds very Pollyanna-ish, but this is sometimes like the depths of the lows that we have to get to, to understand exactly what we're wanting in our lives. So we can be very discerning about what we want. Okay. Because if you get really wishy-washy with the universe and you're like, I don't really know, the universe will bring in a situation to really bring clarity so that you can understand okay, that really sucked and hurt. I'm going to learn and I'm going to grow and I'm going to develop myself. And now I'll be more like detailed and more discerning and really clear about what my chapter needs to look like. You know, what my life wants to look like in general and what type of partner I want. So that's the clarification that comes out of these really intense relationships. We have the four of swords, so that's awesome. So I would say your strength is... Um, your clarity, like your truth. And that is such a typical Virgo trait. Like Virgos are about truth. It's, yeah, it's the Virgin Mary. It's not that you're innocent. The Virgin, that's what people sometimes think when they think of Virgo being the sign of the Virgin Mary. It's not about that. It's about truth. And your strength is your ability to hold on to your truth and stick with it. And 
also to that's my meditation card so the more that you're developing your mind to be able to stay really calm and balanced in your fluctuating circumstances that's what's really going to help you make the dive into this new beginning to have this strength because this is why i love this this is your foundation kind of over the whole spread it's that you're becoming stronger, more courageous, more brave, more, like I was saying, clear about what you're wanting in your life. And with this, the Queen of Swords, remember I was talking about, you have all this air up here. That's the entanglement. So you entangling with these people and possibly going through um, relationships where there weren't maybe as many clear boundaries. These are like clarifying conversations. So maybe Virgo, you're at the point of, maybe putting boundaries up, but also having like a very clear conversation either with this person or in just in general, you're developing that part of yourself. So there could be a really important conversation that's coming up with your particular situation that you're dealing with. It's whatever your strength here is how much you care about your peace of mind, how much you care about your wishes and your dreams and your healing process. And the more that you care about that, like I said, maybe that's the thing that you're turning around is the the normal thing where you, you tend to get lost in other people's energy. Now you're pulling it back in and bringing that observation back onto yourself and your own needs which is kind of like flipping the script, which was is what I've been saying a lot. And look what your final outcome is. Okay, this is good. So that's the sun card. It means that that's what you're moving in the direction of. And that's the star that I love. That's the light at the end of the tunnel. So whatever painful process that you've been going through, it's transforming into your positive beginning. And your new beginning will be this. That's why I love this combination. You have got this new beginning that's going to be more positive, more fulfilling, because you're getting very clear and decisive, decisive, like, this is what I want. That's kind of the judge energy. You're like, this is, this is what I'm developing. It's developing your manifestation skills. And like I said, the more clear you are, the more um, precise the universe is going to be at delivering whatever you want. So I'm going to dive into the extended with this and see whatever else wants to come out. So if you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, and I'll see you over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best, and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.